Do you have PDFs in your Google Drive that need signing? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey there, I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Google Drive account. And like I mentioned, if you have PDF documents that need signing in your Google Drive, you can easily do that with JotForm. So let me show you how to install this from the marketplace. So I'm gonna head up to the top left-hand corner. We're gonna to go to New, More, and then Connect More Apps. From here, I'm gonna do a quick search for JotForm. Then we're gonna choose the second one, the Sign PDF with JotForm. And before you install, definitely take a quick scroll so that way you have an overview of what to expect and then also some additional information. So if you don't already have a JotForm account, I highly encourage you to go ahead and set one up before we get started. And of course, there's always a free plan available. So I'm gonna head up to the top. Let's go ahead and install. Now it's asking me to choose an account and the account that it's going to offer is the same account that we are currently signed in in our Google Workspace. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that account and we'll continue to sign in going to allow access and scroll down to continue. And we have two pop-ups. The first one is going to say make sign PDF with JotForm sign the default app for files it can open. Okay. And then we also see where to find the sign PDF. So this is saying we can hover over any file and open with JotForm sign. So let's go ahead and choose done. We can X out of this and we can see that I already have a PDF ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this. We'll do open with and then sign PDF with JotForm. Next, we'll go ahead and choose the account that we started and continue. And one more time to give it access. And it has brought in our PDF. I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. Now, one thing that we can do is up at the top, we can see where it says detect fields automatically. This is going to make it to where your PDF is fillable on any mobile device. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to detect fields. And right now it's looking at my PDF and it is trying to figure out which fields should we be adding. So we can take a quick scroll and see what it came up for us, which is good. Up at the top, it says we found seven fields in your document. Do you want to undo or keep all? So I'm going to go ahead and keep all because there's only one that is missing. So we can see right here, it says payment of fees. So this is going to be like a dollar amount or a number for, and then it has the word for. We can go ahead and change this. This is going to be an amount. So like how many personal training sessions are we going to have? So I'm going to go ahead in the top left hand corner, we're going to add elements. I'm going to go ahead and bring that number field right over here. And we can change this to total. Now, one thing to keep in mind is there are two people who are going to need to sign this. You as the creator and the person who's going to be signing this. We can see that down at the bottom, we have the client signature and the trainer signature. Now, as of right now, everything is in blue, which means only one person is signing. So we need to get this changed to where it knows who is signing what. So if I come up here, I want me, the creator of this PDF, to be the person who is signing majority of this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the signer and we're going to change this to me. So as the creator, I'm going to fill in majority of this information. We'll do the amount paid, the amount due, and then of course my signature. I'm going to go ahead and leave the date and the client signature as blue because they might not fill it out on the same date as me. But this looks perfect. Everything is in its place. If we come up to publish, one key thing here is we're gonna turn on the signing order right here. So you can see that now there are these dots on the left-hand side. So now we can click and drag and move because I want me as the person who is in charge of this document to sign my piece first and then give it to the second person to sign. And it really is as simple as that. We can fill in their name, their email address, send to sign. I will get the form first fill out everything that I need to fill out. And as soon as I hit submit, it's going to go to my client to fill out the rest. If you have any questions about how to turn any PDFs that you currently have in Google Drive into a signable document, let us know and I'll see you next time.